Hi everybody, I wanted to put together a very short follow-up video on just the Draconet meteor shower, uh, the dragon casting one-third of the stars. Uh, in this case, with the Draconet meteor shower, the meteor seemed to uh, radiate outwards from the dragon's eyes, while also the dragon is casting one-third of the stars to the earth, and that just essentially means it lasts one-third of a day, which is eight hours. So, so here's the constellation Draco, which means dragon. So it's all this whole, almost looks like the little dipper with this long section. And this part is the tail of the dragon here, not too far from the big dipper. But the two dragon's eyes are Altanen and Rastaban. And the Draconet meteor shower is known as a Draconet radiant, which means the meteor showers radiate outwards from the head of the dragon more so they always say it they come out from the eyes of the dragon thus it being a draconic meteor uh, radiant and then when revelation 12 4 says that the dragon's tail and that would be this star right here which would be the tail of the dragon cast one third of the stars to the earth it would be this draconic meteor shower, the draconic radiant, which radiates outwards from the head and the eyes of the dragon. But one third of the stars being cast to the earth also just means not one third of the heavens or one third of the stars that are in heaven being cast to the earth. It just means it occurs over one third of a day's period of time. In other words, eight hours. So as this so in other words, you'll only be able to observe the Draconet Radiant, the meteor shower, for an eight-hour period of time, or one-third of the sky, or one-third of the heavens. And again, here's another view of that Radiant uh, meteor shower. So it looks like it radiates outwards from the dragon's eyes. And then this sets like the sun does in the northwest. So it sets over a period of time of about eight hours, again, that being one-third of the heavens. So one-third of a day is eight hours. So, so I kind of wanted to put together of animation what I'm talking about. Not only does it, again, radiate out from the dragon's eyes, but it also sets over time. So here I put together this. Uh, so it comes, so it sets also in the sky. And this takes eight hours for it to do over Jerusalem, and that's from Jerusalem after sunset or Israel after sunset, about 7.30 p.m. their time. And it ends eight hours later, about 3.30 a.m. in the morning on October 9th. So I wanted to put this together real quickly so you could see more what it's describing in Revelation uh, 12 uh, verses 4 uh, with the dragon casting one third of the stars uh, of heaven to the earth. So uh, the Draconet meteor shower definitely fulfills uh, this prophecy, uh, not only with the stars being cast, but also with them being cast to the earth over an eight hour period of time that you can observe it from uh, before it goes below the horizon between uh, 8.30 p.m. on October 8th and 3.30 a.m. on October 9th. Um, so I just wanted to have this as a follow-up video, and hopefully this gives a better visual of what is describing in Revelation 12, verses 4. And I'll talk to you soon.